and uh, other very, very intricate diagrams. Um, this relates again nodes and rhythm with finesses. You see any 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 do any pulse, any pace is connected with very very precise finesses. All demonstrated with a with the background of this new instrument, the weather glass. So you remember the marker, this is taken from one of the very first works by Robert Flood. So I said that this monochord, which was used to demonstrate the harmony of the human body and the harmony of the uh, macrocosm, the planets and the stars, uh, you can see they are perfectly match, match perfectly, is, in my opinion, giving way, so to speak, to the weather glass towards the end of his life. Uh, I think the resembles are quite um, easy to, to grasp. Actually, Robert Flood does, I mean, it's not just my speculation, it's just me putting things. Uh, this is actually demonstrated with closer st study of his work. Um, so that's it. What began with the, with the, with the ancient theories of the perfect uh, Armories and perfect numbers, the by numbers, ends up toward the end of his life with the. Uh, I mean, he couldn't not take into account what's, ha what's happening around him. So uh, he could have done it, but he doesn't. So I'm, I'm demonstrating that his day to day life, his day to day practice as a physician, as in, in the real world, and uh, influentiate his most occult sides, and uh, he, don't, he doesn't change his mind, so to speak. he doesn't change philosophy, but uh, more interesting, he tries to integrate those new uh, bubbles of new discoveries around him into his philosophy, and at the end of his life we have, we have a very, uh, very original synthesis of many, many sources from Plato, Pythagoras, Boetius, Ficino, uh, Kepler, and uh, Francis Bacon, why not? And uh, all in this very, only one man. And uh, so this, this is what I am searching about. And this is one of the last, this is one last uh, place I want to take you. And this is probably a, a, a typo, a mistake. It says unisanus, it should be unisonus, which is, means the unison. And I'm not sure. I think it's might be a typo, but sanus uh, means healthy. So unisanus is kind of uh, joining both sanus, uh, healthy, and unisanus in one single word of things. I'm not sure it was Bob Flood's aim. I don't think so, but I think it's great. Um, I wanted to show you more closely with a visualizer, with a special complicated machine, with all, all the works. Uh, detail, but I think we have no time, so I encourage you to please uh, ask me anything you want about this. I'm sure it's, there are lots of obscure um, things. So I, I, I realize that Rob Floods at, at first is not very, it's not, it's not the most um, straightforward uh, matter. We have the, the whole opera, opera Omnia here in, in the well, in general, here in the special collections. Uh, we have the, the, all the writings, the publications by Robert Flood, and uh, you can understand, easily understand that for me it's simply heaven. But just because then we are the, the next, in the 12th floor, <laughs> we are closer to God. <laughs> Up here is a big hand <laughs> the library. And uh, so that's great. I mean, we have the, the, the whole, all the published works by Robert Flood, so you are encouraged to, to have a look at them, and I'm sorry, you will find lots of books, yeah, Marx slips with the error, just because his taxonomy is very, very complicated, so I put lots of <laughs> markers, and uh, the librarian weren't, I'm not very happy about that, uh, we'll take them out as soon as possible, and, uh, but, so, but it's easier for, the, for our modern mind to, to see ex at first, you know, the, the table of content. Uh, so to speak, the talk, 
because it's uh, otherwise it's it's very very difficult to navigate through all the floods work and it's something that it required me months and months and years and so in, hopefully you in five minutes will address what I've done what I've done in the years and so, yeah thank you so and it's your mission to um, bring Robert Floods out of relative obscurity. I'm just intrigued. How did you first come across him? Because it, it's not really a thing. I think yeah, it's my my supervisor's my supervisor in, in the MA fault, and uh, he I, my MA is in uh, in Bologna, university in Bologna. So, um, I, I was I was interested in philosophy and music. And MA is in musicology, and um, I wanted to 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 go towards the philosophy of music and my philosophy of music professor in Bologna says, no, I don't do research about it. Have you heard about Robert Flood? And I said the, the wrong, I heard the wrong answer. <laughs> no, I would like to, 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 to research on Robert Flood. Wrong answer again. <laughs> that was the end. So yeah, back in 2006. And, yeah, and, um, so my master's degree was already focusing on on the flood. So I was just continuing with my PhD and just expanding my master. You said he was a doctor, was he considered to be a good one? Yes. Yes. So these rather strange and bizarre ideas didn't influence his practice? Not at all, not at all. Or the opposite. He 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 was very, very successful. Uh, uh, yeah he was he had a study in, in, in London and uh, very interesting, he, he was known in England as a very successful physician and his theories were regarded as you know, not very valid. So, but on the, on the other hand, in the continent, uh, he was more known for his theories, for his books, for his writing books on, on, on philosophy of, um, you know, his musical philosophy and less for being a, a, a doctor. So we have the two sides. Uh, so, but in England, in fact, he published all his books are published, are not published in England. Even though he had a rather a good relationship with, uh, with the King James the First, and um, so he was, he managed not to be, um, not to be banned for his uh, strange theories, occult theories, by James the First. Um, but he was definitely a very, very well known and successful physician in London. <laughs>